How do you stay motivated during a pandemic which is having unprecedented impact across every aspect of your life? How do you stay productive and keep your mental health in check whilst you're socially distancing? These are questions that I have been grappling with over the past couple of days and kind of struggling with, I can't lie. But, but, I've been trying things out, I've been doing some research and I think I've cracked the code as to how to be motivated and productive during self-isolation because we're in this for the long run my friends oh hell so my name is jack edwards welcome to the channel and let's get freaking motivated on tonight's program ladies and gentlemen we have something that's gonna make you sick so today is friday normally on friday mornings i wake up and go straight to the gym however the gym is closed so what the hell we gonna do now? Well, I'll tell you. I am going to do, and I'm going to show you how to do a workout which my PT recommended, which is basically an ab workout that you can really, really easily do from home. So, that's the plan. I have this um, exercise mat which I bought uh, for literally no reason, um, and finally it's getting some use out of it. So we're just gonna blow the dust off of it and um, do a little ab workout. Sure, why not? So I just used this app here. It's a high intensity interval training app. So it's basically like a timer that you can use to time the workout. So you just press this and it gives you your timings. The mat is going down. Perfecto. Where are my glasses? I can't do anything without my glasses. There they are. Can you see me? For the first bit, you're basically going to do like crunches. Then when the timer tells you to, you get like a five second break. Then the next position, basically your back is on the floor and your legs go like up and out, up and out. Then take a break. And then the last one, you basically put your hands like in this diamond shape below you. And then with your legs, you're gonna do this, but like outstretched. So I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. Then you just keep doing those three things until the timer runs out. I think it's like three minutes or something. Then take a break and then set the timer again. And this time you're gonna do a plank, have a break, and then basically sit like this, put your hands here, and then you like rotate that way, rotate that way. But you're moving like using your abs, not anything else, you know? So I'm gonna do that now. Two. Would you shut one. up and let me finish? <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, so I've just finished that. Um, that, like I said before, it came from my PT at Result Fitness Store. I'm like, this, I didn't come up with that. That actually came from a trained professional. I find that working out is so good for my brain, and so it's something that I need to keep doing whilst in self-isolation. So I thought I'd just share that real quick. If you want some advice from someone who actually knows what they're talking about, then go check out this Instagram account, Bear Training Clo. This is my friend George, who has set up this account showing some home workouts. So I think he's going to be posting new home workouts every single day. Um, this is what I would like to look like, but absolutely don't. So, um, yeah, maybe check this out instead of what I just did. <laughs> Another huge thing for me is that I am such a creature of habit, and so I'm trying to keep to having my meals at the same meal times that I normally would have had them had we not been, you know, going through a pandemic. So this morning I'm having my granola and yogurt, same as I always would, and then I'm going to have my lunch at the same time as I normally would have it. And the same goes for waking up in the morning. Even though now when we wake up we just have the whole day stretching out ahead of us and we don't have to necessarily go anywhere, I think it's still good to set an alarm and wake up at a normal time and just get up and get going. I'm finding when I set an alarm and wake up at my normal time, I'm way more productive and feel way more motivated to actually do something that day. So bon appetit. The next pretty major thing for me is getting in the shower and getting dressed as I normally would in the outfit that I would normally have worn if we weren't locked in the house. Psychologically, there's something about putting on an outfit specifically to go and do something that makes my brain think, okay, we actually need to do it now. So if I still was in my pajamas or in a dressing gown or something, I just don't think I would be anywhere near as productive. So for me, it's really important just to get dressed properly. And I'm not saying, you know, put on a suit as if you're going to go to the office, but put on something that's a step above loungewear. Because we ain't here to lounge. No, sir, not today. So yeah, I've got dressed properly. I put some wax in my hair, put my contact lenses in, and now I'm going to go downstairs to somewhere that isn't my room because I feel like I associate my room with like relaxing and taking it chill So I'm gonna go and sit at the kitchen table and get my work done there It's not quite the same as commuting to the office But I feel like going to a specific place where you're going to work or study is so useful um, I find it like puts me in the right headspace to actually get stuff done So I've left the phone upstairs and I'm going to sit myself here 
and get some work done. As a lot of you will know, I absolutely swear by the self-control app. Oh God, not right now. So basically you can block um, certain websites for a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna go for four hours um, and blacklist all social media um, so I can't get distracted. Okay, so some time has passed. I have listened to Harry Styles' complete discography, his complete back catalogue, but I've got the task done that I needed to do, which I've been putting off for ages. So when I write essays, I make one of these uh, research logs where I just input all of the research that I do into one big document. When it's done, I print it off and just make loads of notes. So I color code it with highlighters and pens. And then I go back to the original document, so that's this one, and colour code it in the same way as I've colour coded my notes, and then copy and paste all of those into documents where each colour becomes a paragraph. So that's what I've been doing. It's been a quite boring and um, quite long-winded, but it's necessary. So hopefully this is going to make my essay way better. I just made myself some lunch, I had a chicken sandwich, and totally forgot to film it, because I just... I kind of forgot that I was vlogging today. I am an idiot, a housebound idiot, a COVID idiot, if you will. Maybe I am going insane. <laughs> but I'm basically just trying to keep with the routines that I would normally have, but just doing them at home. Now, back to the grind. I'm going to continue trying to work at uh, the kitchen table until 6 p.m. Um, so I'm just gonna do some writing of my diss and hopefully something good can come out of this terrible situation And I might actually get some work done. So I mean it's a big price to pay for me to just stop being lazy Trust me. This is the ultimate productivity playlist. It's called optimal focus. It's just like lo-fi beats um, With no words to distract you. It's four hours long so it can get you through quite a long time And I just added loads of new songs to it. So yeah, it's my own playlist, but like I would recommend Okay, I've been working for like an hour and I'm really starting to lose focus, like I'm not concentrating at all. So I'm gonna go and take a break and do some reading. Um, I think it's good to have like little breaks doing other things which are away from a screen. Like, trust me, I could spend this half an hour break on TikTok the whole time, but, but, I'm gonna try and show some self-restraint and I'm not gonna use my phone, I'm just gonna, gonna do some reading. This is the book I'm reading at the moment, by the way. If anyone has any opinions on this or any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Don't mind me just treating myself like an actual child and rewarding myself with chocolate after every five minutes of work that I do. In fact, I'm kind of timing it like every song that I finish listening to, then I can have a chocolate. Um, and so it's probably less than five minutes, but. Okay, so it is six o'clock. Um, I'm done with dissertation stuff for today, I think. And my reward and something else that I've put into my daily routine is to watch today's StudyTube project video. So basically the StudyTube project is an initiative set up by myself and loads of other StudyTubers. We've all come together on one channel called the StudyTube project. Um, and every day, every single day at 6 p.m. there is going to be a brand new video where we talk about our subjects or teach you a new skill or something like that just to keep your brain ticking over, keep you occupied, give you something to do in this weird time. And since it's 6, a brand new video has just gone live on the channel, so I'ma watch it. Today's video is from V and I'm really excited about this because it's about masculinity in the ancient world. And I am such a nerd for ancient Greece, ancient Rome, anything classical, love it. If you are interested, then I will leave the link to the StudyTube project down below. And we're also on Instagram, at the StudyTube project. So it's basically the idea is to create a community out of self-isolation. So go check us out. So now it is the evening. And to make sure that I'm still being productive this evening, I am going to make a little to-do list with all of the small tasks that I need to get done. Especially I need to do some admin in terms of changing some flights because uh, coronavirus is currently doing the world tour that I was hoping to do and visiting all of the countries that I wanted to visit And so pretty much all of the plans that I made for the Easter break are now cancelled So yeah, corona is currently on the world tour that no one asked for so I very much need to do that But also I've been keeping a to-do list of tasks that I need to get done Which I've basically been putting off. So for example, I shove all sorts of shit under my bed anything I don't know what to do with 
goes under the bed and that's a problem because I'm well I'm supposed to be moving out of this house in July maybe I'll be moving out of this house next week I don't know isn't it fun so I am going to have to clear it out at some point and that point could be tonight maybe mm, mm, or not but now is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of the fact that we're housebound we're stuck indoors we can do all of the little tasks that we've been putting off for ages so I also need to package up some things that's all going on the list I need to stop filming and write the list. I think I'm gonna leave this video here because the rest of it is just going to be me chilling a little bit, probably watching quite a lot of TikTok, doing some admin, and maybe even going a little bit stir crazy because I'm the last one left in my house. Everyone else has evacuated and it is getting dull as fuck. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to get a little bit more motivated whilst you are working from home or self-isolating. If you're not self-isolating, don't be an idiot, unless obviously you absolutely have to, and of course I really, really appreciate all of the work, the incredible work that people who are on the front line fighting against this virus are doing. You are incredible, amazing, thank you. But if you're one of those, coronavirus can't kill me, I'm invincible, I'm unstoppable, I won't infect my families and potentially be asymptomatic and passing on this disease to vulnerable people, then you suck, man. You really suck. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like if you like and subscribe for more from me. I've got loads of videos that you can watch whilst you're in self-isolation and also check out the Study Tube project if you are feeling a bit lonely, need something new to watch and also I'm on loads of social media where you can find me all the time and I will be updating that regularly because we are all bored. So see you next time. Bye bye. I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.